I think we could have ships out there making continuous measurements from now till December, and by March we might have a good understanding of what's going on. Dr. Samantha Joy, UGA marine scientist, says her findings are justified by numbers, but they're still quite preliminary. Her data in part shows methane levels are 100,000 times higher inside the oil plumes, which is not only having an effect on the waters in and around the Gulf, but are also devastating for the ozone. It's hard for most people to sort of fathom the kind of volumes that we're talking about, but, but as long as the oil and gas are coming out of this well, you're going to continue to have problems both in the subsurface and on the, sur on the surface of the ocean, and that means problems for you know, all the states bordering the Gulf Coast. As the oil continues to spread with tar balls washing up on the beaches of Panama City Beach, Dr. Joy says that this oil spill will definitely have effects that will last for decades. As the microorganisms continue to process the petroleum <laughs> products that are in the water, they're going to continue to drive oxygen concentrations down and that, that will potentially affect larger organisms. Dr. Joy tells WNEG she and her crew plan to go back to the Gulf for more research at the end of the summer. In Athens, Laura Ashley Harris, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.